everybody so for this week i'm doing a double squishy makeover it's going to be a very long process let's get started with the repairs i'm gluing the cracks together with some fabric glue i have and then sealing the cracks with some of this puffy paint i'm also going to be releasing soon a how to make squishies video so make sure you watch that my idea for this squishy is going to be very interesting i'll sh you'll see soon After finishing the repairs, I realized that I kind of forgot to sandpaper this squishy. You have to sandpaper soft squishies to make sure the paint stays on. Since I already did the repairs and the glue was still drying, I had to do it very lightly. <sighs> Hopefully this still works. Here I go in with the purple paint. Anyways, the blue and purple colors were kind of reminding me of Soleil from Monsters, Inc. And kind of? Anyway, so the white part on top is going to be the green guy. His name is Michael, Michael Zowski. The cake, though, is themed after Soleil, the blue and purple monster. Now on to the second squishy. I'm sandpapering it right now. So hopefully the paint will be able to stick to it better. And there was like this waffle texture on the pink part of it. And that one, that's not really going to work with my idea. So I had to kind of like fill in with puffy paint. At first I wasn't applying it thick enough. So I had to add it thicker to really like fill in the waffle texture so you couldn't see it anymore. Here is me adding it on a lot thicker. There was a bunch of bumps in it though. So I kind of had to like smooth it out with a brush and yeah i'm marking out where the different colors of paint are gonna go because i'm gonna be turning this into like an orange juice kind of carton instead of like a milk carton so i'm mixing up several oranges for this orange juice after I have that all mixed up, I'm going to start applying it to the squishy. This is going to take several coats. Also, this is a really weird way I had to dry it. Okay, so now that the first coat has dried, let's get onto the second one. I had to remix the colors because the paint dried out. But, oh, there's the bottle cap I added. And I'm going to add some other coats now. All right, back to the first squishy. I'm now gonna add the spots on it. I'm gonna do the blue with the, on the purple area and the purple on the blue area. The reason I'm adding spots is because Soli has spots and I wanted to portray that since this is gonna be the Monster Ink cake. I feel like the spots didn't really resemble his spots though. It might be because the colors are off or the shapes are weird, I don't know. But this is pretty easy to do. Now we're going to be getting started on the green head of Mike. I'm using this neon green that I think resembles his head. This green's very transparent, so it's going to take many coats to do this. I did some coats with the green, so I'm just going to add like the eye and the mouth, just like a nice trace with a Posca marker. Okay, um, I filled it in with white. Now I'm going in with the green pupil and the mouth details. And then I'm going to work on the horns a little bit. I had to swirl around the black and the white to get the horn effect. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the black and do that, and then I'm going to add the highlights with the white. And I did this while the black was still wet, and 
paint dropped everywhere all over it as you can see so i luckily were able to get most of it off and it looked actually pretty good for some reason but then i just touched it up a little bit and i was done okay now the milk carton on the other hand i added a white coat on it but i realized i was just not gonna get it done this video so sorry guys i know it was like a double squishy makeover but it was just too much for me so but i did get one done and it's monsters ink themed and i really love it and so thanks for tuning in for this long so i hope you enjoyed what you saw and maybe if i ever have time i can finish the milk carton in another video but no promises so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video